Hey guys, it's Red one and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is the beginning to a new beginning. This is a new series that we are starting today. This is going to be building a fortified manor. I haven't decided on a name yet, but by the time this is released, most likely the name is in there. So even by the end of the video, we might decide on a name, but for the most part, I haven't really thought too much other than the design. I'm not going to show you guys the design that I've thought up. I want that to be a surprise for you when we get to that point. But in today's video, we are going to be coming up with a palette. And we are going to be working on shaping the terrain to get it to how we want it to look. Now, a lot of you have been asking for me to do a first person series our first person let build let's build series and ever since my architect plot series that i had done quite a while ago a lot of you really like that and said that's where you learn the most the link to that architect plot series is in the description below it's a really old series mind you the audio is horrible so just pay attention or just be mindful of that so we're going to try and do that over again but this time far better with far greater tools than ever possible before we are officially on the conquest reforged mod it adds in thousands of extra blocks I'm sorry hundreds of extra blocks and thousands thousands of extra textures whatever lots and lots of extra blocks that's pretty much all you need to know if you're not using the conquest reforged mod you're really really missing out so definitely give it a give it a whirl go ahead and download it the links are again in the description below go check it out get it on your computer and enjoy because this is gonna be a lot of fun I am so excited for this and I'm thinking that this is gonna be enough space for us the manor shouldn't be any bigger than this section right here and of course we'll have surroundings around it and things but it's not going to be like out of this world uh you know massive it's not going to be massive i mean the manor is going to be pretty big mind you but i'm hoping that i don't have to expand these borders at all my only desire is to stay within this bot within these borders and to build this manor and uh not expand like we have in the past with say crying or sea bridge things like that so i guess we'll find out as this series progresses and hopefully we'll get um, some good stuff going. So what we're gonna do right now is come up with a pallet. I need to figure out what blocks I want to use in order to get a general idea of what we're going to be doing here. So um, let's get started on that.
Alrighty guys, so this is the style we came up with. Uh, it's a very light palette, as you can see. We've used a lot of this diorite, the travertine. We've used this smooth stone blocks. A little bit of cobble up here. We have the red roof and everything. I really think it works out. Now, the, the only thing I'm kind of iffy about is this transition right here. The light blocks just sort of start like that, but it feels it feels pretty good. I mean, as long as we use a little bit of gray stone brick in the mix, I think it's really going to help the style overall. So this is kind of what I'm planning to do. And it's going to be built in the middle of this plot right here. It's going to have a cliff on this side on the... I'm not even sure what side that is. It's going to be a cliff on this side. It's going to be a river heading down this way. The gate is going to be right about here, heading out of the manor. There's going to be two inner courtyards, all right? The guard tower slash bell tower is going to be in the middle, and it's going to pretty much meet the gate straight head on. So right when you come in through the gate, you're going to look up, and there's going to be a guard tower up there with you know lots of arrow slits in it. So when you come into the first courtyard, when you look to your right, there's going to be a servant's building. There's going to be an oak tree. If you look to your left, it's going to be the craftsman's area. That's where the blacksmith, the mason, the carpenter of the manor, a, aka the estate's going to be. Uh, it is going to be a fortified manor, so there is going to be a lot of different things in here. There's going to be kennels over here to the right. You got to go in through a diagonal gate to get in, and then there's going to be like a stables, and then the lord's residence. There's going to be a feast hall over here on the side. The windows are going to be overlooking a moat, which is going to lead down a hillside. All right. Now on this corner, there's going to be like a forest and everything. This is going to be more like plains and things over here. It's going to be a deforested region. On this side, there's also going to be a chapel. And again, it's going to be surrounded by a moat. You keep coming around. This is behind the Lord's residence right now. On the right here is going to be the Maester's Tower. So inside this tower is going to be things like the library, uh, the dove coat slash rookery. I think we might go for a Game of Thrones feel with the rookery. I am unsure, but uh, we'll see how that goes. There's going to be a, a sweeping road coming down the hill. So it's going to come out from the gate across a bridge, across a sort of moat kind of thing. It's going to come to the hill and it's going to come down along the side of the castle. Uh, not really a castle, the estate. And it's going to come back around. So it's going to sort of snake down the hill. And then it's going to go to the main road, which is going to be at the base of the hill. And it's going to cross over the river over here, over a bridge. And then it's going to lead into the forest over here in the corner. So that's the general idea of what we're going to be doing. And it's all going to be in this style right here. This is going to look like a castle. A lot of you are going to say it looks like a castle, and it most likely is going to be a castle for the most part. I mean, you can't really avoid the castly feel with this style. But the French castly feel, that's kind of what we're going to go for. So what I'm going to do now is do a quick little first person time lapse of me adding in some terrain. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to, try to brush in the general idea of what we are going to do. But the main points of this episode was coming up with a palette, and then we're going to be coming up with the actual uh, terrain itself. But coming up with a palette is completely discretionary. There's not really a method to it other than finding blocks that work together. For example, this travertine, since it's so white, it really works for an outside block. Then this in here, the diorite, and this whatever that block is that is a diorite brick that adds a nice little touch and then you have a little bit of that Italian plastered stone up here and we use a lot of these smooth stone stone blocks for accents the accents are very important plus depth which is the windows here that really adds in depth and then of course you have the window up there which really adds in the necessary detail to make it look really, really nice. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and get started on that terrain, and I'll see you guys soon.
Alright guys, here we are. I went ahead and finished up the rough outline of the terrain. I'm pretty happy with the result. I really like how it turned out. It's more like a teardrop shape. If you look at it from above, right up here, as you can see, there's sort of a teardrop. You got the cliffs on the bottom left, and then it tapers off into a smooth hill on the top right. Now, the reason why I did that is we're trying to make it into a semi-natural landform, like something you could find in real life and I just thought it'd be a really neat idea to add cliffs on this side and everything well actually that was Kevin's idea to add cliffs on this side I wasn't quite sure what I would do with the terrain but uh, he fed me ideas and this definitely turned out really really nice let me actually go up here really quick and I'm gonna show you exactly what I am going to be doing so this is the design of the castle that I'm going with we went ahead and designed this in Photoshop earlier today and it really turned out nice in my opinion there's going to be several different courtyards. There's going to be the first courtyard here, the second courtyard, and then the third courtyard. And it's going to all be sections. So when you get through one, you're going to have to fight to get to the next and fight to get the next. That middle tower there is the guard's tower. Stuff like that. There's a lot of really neat things that are going to be in this mansion here. Not to mention we're going to be doing lots of neat underground stuff. But let me sort of show you what the idea is so as you saw from the design the gates gonna be right here this is gonna be the gatehouse gonna be a tall one tower gatehouse with a tunnel through the middle there's probably going to be a portcullis a swinging gate and in, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a drawbridge or not probably not I think we're just going to settle with just a bridge across this gorge here it's gonna head across to here and then the road is going to head down along this rock formation and then it's going to go over this gorge. It's going to be a wooden bridge over this gorge. Maybe stone? I don't know. We'll find out later on. And then the road's going to continue down here. And then it's going to snake back around to the main road out there. So that is the general idea. The craftsman area is going to be right here. Uh, built along this cliff. There's going to be defensive features on the side. Lots of arrow slits and ways that the uh, guards and everything can come up along the outside and shoot arrows down on the enemies as they're trying to come up against the, the mansion. Not to mention there's going to be this wall here. There's going to be a lot of different defensive features. I really put a lot of thought into this and I really hope that it turns out quite nice. As you can see there's cliffs all the way around. That's a really important terrain feature that definitely adds in a defensive uh, aspect to the terrain. Now one of the most important things when you're building anything if you're building a castle or something medieval of that sort a fort etc it's very important to build it on terrain that it can be well defended on you don't want to build it in a valley you want to build it on a hill and not a hill with cliffs at that because cliffs are a natural defense against 
bombardment. You know, you can't shoot a cannon or rocks at it from catapults, and you can't just you know, destroy the stone. This this is basically a insurance that the enemy will not be able to get into the castle here. Uh, now, along this edge is going to be a deep moat. So we're going to have to figure out how to make this side of the castle really defensible. So we'll find out. It's probably going to have just really thick walls on this side. So it's going to be a deterrent from them to, you know, launch a siege on this side. Uh, we want them to look at this gate and say, hmm, that's probably the best way to get in. So even at that, they'd probably all die. So um, that's the whole idea when you're building a castle. You want to make it absolutely nearly impossible for the enemy to get in and I hope that we'll be able to achieve that with this but we are going for a French style castle here French style mansion I keep saying castle it is technically a castle but it's more of a manor slash estate a fortified mansion a pretty big one at that so that is what we're going to be focusing on obviously the lighter the lighter style, I really like how it turned out, and I really think that once we get this terrain all sexified and everything all um, sorted, I think it'll really turn out quite nice. Now, the idea behind this series is that I'm going to be building this all on YouTube. I'm going to be doing those little first-person time lapses like we did with the terrain and with uh, coming up with the palette for our build, etc. All of that's going to be first person time lapse aka all on camera now there are some little features that I had done off camera like we did this little bit of the gorge here things like that I really wanted to uh, just get that done because uh, I quit the recording I was like after the recording I was like mm, I really want to add some more stuff in and I didn't want to press the record button again so anyways that's that and I hope you guys don't mind there's gonna be little updates like that here and there but the for the most part I want to try to keep this all on recording with that said, um, I have a Facebook and a Twitter, guys. I would definitely appreciate your support on both of those. Also, I have a Twitch. Definitely go watch me over on Twitch. I do a lot of live streams over there. Uh, again, we won't be live streaming this, but we will be live streaming other stuff. So definitely go check that out. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And uh, till the next one, bye-bye.